What's up guys, Mardi Gras Man 23 here and I am going to share with you my custom bike shop. I'm standing here with Bricks for Chris because he really inspired me to take this on. Uh, if you watch any of his videos, what he likes to do is take a building or a vehicle and he likes to customize it. He might buy two of the same thing, like he's got two fire brigades and he puts them together and he makes one giant fire brigade or the Parisian restaurant he wasn't happy with the size of the first one so he bought two he customized them and he has a fantastic mock that is actually just two of them put together and it's his own spin on it and it's much bigger and much nicer so today you can see that that's the original bike shop that's from set 60026 to town square and my original vision was I just wanted to, I bought two of them. I bought one town square complete and then I bought one bike shop um, by itself. And I was just going to put them together, maybe extend the back a little bit and add some back walls. But as I started messing with it, I realized that I didn't like the two uh, revolving doors on either end. So I wanted to put it in the middle. So once I did that... I just came up with a whole new floor plan. So let me let me get it set up and we'll take a look at it. Alright guys, so it's grand opening day at the bike shop. You see I'm standing there with bricks for Chris. You see we got the clowns out for the kids. Over here we had a bike race for grand opening. You see we got a fall man there holding up his Benny trophy because he won the race with his juiced up black bike. YM Perry came in second with his fire bike and Friction Pin came in third with his maroon street bike and look who's here special guest none other than Brickstar coming in on his red scooter with his red rare 2x4 brick he never leaves home without it so what I did guys oh and look back there it's Brickstackers only Brickstackers can go to a bike shop grand opening and come away with Lego he goes everywhere when he's brick stacking in the wild. So as you can see, I stretched the building. It covers a whole green base plate. I don't know what that is. I think it what is, what's standard, 48 by 48. I put the revolving door in the middle. And on the side here, let me move some of these guys out the way. So what I did was I put the, the revolving door in the middle. I got the fire plugs on either side. Um, there's your end. You see, this is kind of like the original. It's got the two bike jackets in the window. I actually did this. wanted to kind of round the corner, so I used these one-by-one one round, <coughs> round bricks. I like this curve on it. Even though it can't go right next to another building, I wanted to keep this curve all the way around. So I kept that going just like the original. I stretched it out. If we go around here, we'll go around the side. I got the roof ready to come off. Here's the side of the building. You can see the bikes in there. It's kind of plain around the side. Here's the back. There's the upstairs windows for the office. This is the mechanics corner. I'll show you the mechanic in just a second. Here's the other side. and back to the front so that's what it looks like so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the, each floor and we're gonna show you the inside alright guys so here's the inside of the first level you see we got some street bikes over here we got Bubba Bricks trying to convince Kaylin that he needs a street bike and she's telling him it's too dangerous and the kids have nowhere to ride unless they buy two then they each have one and then we go right here in the center We've got some the helmet display. Who is that? Who is that? There's Dr. Lucky. He's talking to our one store associate. Trying to get a good deal on a new bike helmet. And a matching jacket. Back here we got some store jackets. Got the cash register. And we got the fancy bikes right here. And there's Brickmaster Inc. He's digging that purple bike. And who's that? We've got Brick Zapper and the brick adjuster which one's coming home with the maroon bike I don't know what 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 
So as you see guys, I kept the original orange and black tile. I got it tiled up the staircase to the to the next floor. Um, what I what I noticed on this one was the tiles have the jumpers, the studs, which is I didn't think I was going to like that, but it's really neat because you can just place the minifigures all over the place and use that stud to keep them from knocking down. I wish I would have thought about it. You can see I don't have them all with jumpers. <clears throat> so some of the guys are in there. Just if I bump it, they're going to fall down. But the ones on the jumpers are going to stay up. Here's that motorcycle, the little work area. And there's Friction Pin fussing at the mechanic because he wants his bike juiced up so he can keep up with the with A-Fall Man. So that's all we got going on on this one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the next story on and I'm going to show you the inside of the second floor. Alright guys, so here's the next floor. You see over here we got the hat rack right there. Got the bicycles up on the wall. Got some green street bikes, or I'm sorry, dirt bikes right there. And you see in the corner there's the trophy cup. You got Brick Station right there and Brick Fam. They're checking out the scooters. That scooter was what I was waiting for. And you see I got them right here where they, they're they on like a turntable. So they can rotate and sh be shown off. And then I got Might Be Bricks there checking out the skateboard and the skateboard helmets. And there's the, there's the skater dude. He works the upstairs. And then on this other side, turn this around. Look. On this other side, we've got some uh, some orange dirt bikes. We've got another trophy cup in that back corner. And then we've got the desk in this corner. You see there's Clutch checking out all the deals. Sitting at the desk, and there's Motor Junkie or Classy Bricks telling him what to buy. Asking him when's the next Philly Brick Fest. So that's the inside of the second floor, guys. You see everybody checking out all the stuff. Like I said, I didn't use the jumpers. I actually went with the yellow and black because I thought that was pretty good. And as you saw, Motor Junkie just bit it. That's because I don't have the jumpers on this floor. And that was something I didn't think I was going to like, but I wish I would have used them because they're they're really handy to you know get all you guys to just stand wherever you want them to stand. So let me put the roof back on and we'll get some final thoughts. All right, guys, as you can see, there's not a lot going on, on the roof. I do have flags up there flying and in either corner I have the bike shop billboards um, they actually rotated on the original but I didn't like the way they spun so freely only thing I did on the roof was I built me an air condition unit um, because in southern Louisiana if you don't have air condition you might as well slit your wrist so that's that's it for this review guys this is my bike shop mock so tell me what you guys think as always, please like the video and give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out my Bricklink store at Mardi Gras Bricks. You can follow me on Instagram at Mardi Gras Man 23 Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked the mock. You can leave me some comments. Tell me what I did right. Tell me what I could have done better. And hope to see you in the next video. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll talk to you later.